Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. I'm going to answer a question that's come into the support at Tom Gentile email, and it's come in from a couple of different students. They're trying to find out if the tools or where in the tools you can find the open, high, low, and closing data for a particular stock. Now, when you bring up the option chain, I'll show you where to find that capability. Right now, recognize folks, if you haven't clicked on one of the panels that you're subscribed to and you just go straight to the options tab, and then click on option chains it'll bring up the option chain but it won't have a stock symbol in there nor will it have the expiration months listed over here to the left you'll have to type in a symbol hit update and go from there however when you go back to tom's tools and you can do that by either going tom's tools button or back up to the home and then tom's tools but we've just now added this button on almost every page so if you click on tom's tools it's going to go back to the front page after you log in so let's go ahead and do the option trader, the trading tools, click in there. And now when you go to option and option chains, it will bring up whichever is the last stock symbol you were doing your research on. And in this case, we have GLD. And you'll see now it has the expiration months analyzed panel over here with the top three expirations automatically checkmarked for you. Down below, you'll recognize that you have your calls and puts data. This is your option chain for GLD. Above this, you'll see a box that says GLD, SV, and IV data. That box is for statistical volatility and implied volatility data. If you want to bring in the open, high, low, and closed information, you'll find in the controls panel here a line item that says stock and volume data. Left click on the hyperlink show and scroll down and you'll see that it now brings in the stock and volume data for you. It's defaulted for the past stock days in the stock table for five trading days you can change that to whichever number you like let's click in 10 let's click in update and now when the page refreshes and you scroll down you'll know that the stock and volume data is gone you just need to click on show once again and the GLD stock and volume data for the last 10 trading days will populate if you go ahead and click in a new symbol let's just say we want to look at information on Starbucks SBUX Let's click on that let's click update when the page populates scroll down you have the SV and IV data there let's go ahead and make sure that we click on stock and volume data show and it brings that box in for you so now you can coincide your stock and volume data for the stock as well as the options information below from the option chains page so that answers that question any further questions that you have email us at support at tomgentile.com and between the programmers showing me how to get this done or me knowing how to get it done or a combination of them and Tom and I will get these videos coming out to you as we get going. Thanks, folks. Talk to you soon.